high school game on the football schedule that's become must-see in the last few years. It's Fond du Lac versus Kimberly. The second and third ranked teams in Division One in the state will meet next week, but will both be 2-0. Tonight, Kimberly welcomed in Wisconsin Rapids in their home opener. And after the Red Raiders score on their opening drive, the Papermakers find their stride as Caden Pendleton connects with Connor Wenick for the 14-yard score, and we're tied up at 7. On the ensuing possession, Austin Pilot pitches to Peter Rucker. Jack Sutton there to cause the fumble. Nolan Harkey falls on it for the makers. And Steve Jones' squad capitalizes on the takeaway. Alec Martzel runs it in from four yards out. Kimberly dominates Wisconsin Rapids. Final score, 55 to 21. Fond du Lac hitting the road to take on Stevens Point this evening. Fondy was out in front early. Kyle Walgisper. Drops back and finds Caleb Plant for the long touchdown pass to put the Cardinals up early. Later in the first quarter, Spash quarterback Brandon Vilko trying to find time, and he's wrestled to the turf. Big stop there for Fondy. Then in the second quarter, Xavier Ellis pounds it in for six, and the Cardinals route Spash 42-7. to seven. Battle of 1-0 and o teams as Hortonville plays host to Appleton West. Polar Bears. Get rolling in the first quarter. Kyle Allen airing the ball out down the field to Parker Lawrence, and he makes a diving catch. Check it out. 31 yard TD, 7 0 Horty. Later in the quarter, more Hortonville. Jose Concepcion taking the handoff. He's good. 25 yard score. Polar Bears in control. Second quarter, it's Allen looking to the end zone, and Jaquan Kaparu there for the touchdown. You kidding me? Hortonville wins big. Impressive showing. 42 14. Kakana could improve to 2-0 with a win over Wausau West. Late in the second quarter, Kakana adds to their lead. Noah Van Aston lofts it up. Carson Sippel on the other side. 10-yard touchdown, 14-3 ghosts. More Kakana in the second half. Hank Hoffman runs it in from nine yards out. He had three touchdowns on the night, and it's all Kakana. Final score, 35-9. Oshkosh West looking for their first victory at D.C. Everest. Early in the first quarter, Wildcats driving. Bryce Hinn finishes off the drive when he breaks the plane for the opening score of the evening. Wildcats up 7-0. Later in the first half, on fourth and goal, Everest flips it out to Delton Zuliger, and he gets across just in time. Tight game. D.C. Everest pulls it out late on their home turf. Final score in that one, 21-14. To, to the Bay Conference. Xavier and Green Bay East battling at City Stadium. Special teams miscue early on for East. They can't handle the snap on the punt, and David Wolski is able to recover the fumble. Then on Xavier's first offensive possession, Ray Zuliger keeps it himself and goes in untouched for the five-yard TD. 6-0 Hawks later in the first, facing fourth and nine here. Zuliger buying time, finding Sam Oswald, who gets behind the secondary for the 24-yard score. And the Hawks soar for a 44-0 win. Reigning state runner-up and 1-0 West De Pere lining up against 1-0 New London. Phantoms in control in the second, and the defense keeps it that way. On fourth down, Tucker Cole scrambling. He throws at the end zone, but Nate Jensen's there for the INT. And West De Pere, they have one of the best dual threat QBs in the state. Josh Blount keeps it himself. Check out this hesitation move to shake the defender. And yeah, he's gone. 69 yards for the touchdown. Phantoms led 35-0. David Vanderlot adds another score before the break and West the Pier. They're a monster this season. They win 52 to 14. Kingsford making the trip from the UP to match up with Manasha tonight. Thanks for coming. Third quarter, Blue Jays rolling. Quarterback Cole Pope connects with Tyler Rail. 21 yards there to set up Manasha inside the red zone. And they're going to cap off the drive when Pope, check out the great fake here. Even fools our camera guy. Happens in the best of us. We get a touchdown pass to Jay Jopolowski. Name of the night. Blue Jays win it 34 zip. To the Northeastern Conference, Luxembourg Casco facing off with FVL late in the third quarter. Isaiah Ullman's pass gets tipped. And Matthew Dorn is there for the pick for the Spartans. And LC, well, they're going to march the other way. Matthew Crevillian calls his own number. He takes it in from two yards out. Luxembourg Casco down by just two, and they go for the two-point conversion. 
Reese Warachek takes the handoff, but he gets stopped short of the goal line. So FBL still leads it 21-19. Later, Fox is on the move. Andrew Bame takes the handoff, but the ball comes out and the Spartans recover. Are you kidding me? So LC with one last shot on fourth down. Crevillian is going to drop back. You just got to believe me sometimes, but he ends up getting sacked by Brody Van Handel. There it is. And Fox Valley Lutheran wins on their long-awaited return to their home field, 21-19. Staying in the NEC with another LC, Little Shoot hosting Oconto Falls. First quarter, Mustangs QB Cade Van Aston goes deep to Tate Huss. 29 yards on the catch. That set up a field goal to make it 3-0 Little Shoot. And they'll get the ball back. Van Aston is going to roll left. And he throws a great pass to Andrew Rohde. 36 yards. They cap off the drive in the second quarter when Van Aston finds Nolan Lamers this time. Relation to Jordan? You never know in Little Shoot. 15 yards to the TD and the Mustangs gallop to a 23 to nothing win. Cool moment in Chilton as the Tigers honored the 50th anniversary of their 1969 state championship team as they hosted Winnebago Lutheran tonight. It's for the game, a good start for the Tigers. On the opening drive, Caden Pop busts up on the gut and he's gone, 76 yards. And just like that, Chilton led by seven. Wow, good first impression there. They stretched it to 14. Then Ryan Wagen finds Donovan Schwartz with a 30-yard TD strike. And Winnebago Lutheran pulls to within seven again. A few plays later, though, Chilton digging in the bag of tricks here. Cade Mikowski, the toss, and he'll find Caden Bowie. Running back open behind the defense. An 80-yard touchdown to make it a 14-point game again. And Chilton knocks off WLA 31-14. And one last stop. Southern Door traveled to Wausau East in non-conference action. The Lumberjacks up 17-0 when Southern Door strikes. Alex Doust dances around in the pocket. He goes left, then right. Throws it up to Marcus Marchant, who steps out of the two. But the Eagles would punch it in. Wausau East, though, Donovan Leverett shows off his skills. He shakes the defender to the dirt, cuts to the right side. He disappears behind his team's bench. And you'll have to just believe me, he finds the end zone. Southern Door falls to 0-2. Wausau East wins it 24-7. I'm going to grab some oxygen quick, if you don't mind. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Ryan. Oh, yeah.